All right. I'm going to do a tutorial on something I have figured out. I've looked everywhere on the internet and I could not find a solution for this problem. But with some clever programming, I guess you could say, I figured it out. Usually people will try to have me go into uh, Microsoft Access to do this, but I found an easier way. First you want to take a combo box. Put your combo box there. And for example purposes, we're going to go ahead and choose a rich text box. Alright, now what we're trying to do here is have the text, have the draw down box display items one way, but when you click on them, they send a, the item in a different value, if that makes any sense. First, we're going to go to form and go inside form load type in combo box one dot items dot add open parentheses quotation marks close parentheses and this is where you're going to put your first item like we're going to do um, candy copy paste and we're gonna you know just keep pasting you know, as many as you need. Let's go ahead and do that many. And then the next one you want to change your variable to change the name to something else like fruit. Vegetables candy uh, meat poultry, you know, for example. Alright, now, when you run the form, it's going to display those in your box. Of course, they don't do anything yet. Then you want to go into the coding of the actual box and type in this. If combo box one dot Selected item equals candy. Make sure. Make sure this is exactly how it is up here in these for each one. If combo box one dot selected item equals candy, then rich text box one or wherever you're going to have this text sent to exactly dot text equals uh, let's, we'll say snickers and if you know then you want to do this for each one copy paste two, four, five. okay and if the next one, if it equals fruit, then I type apples and bananas. If it equals um, vegetables, then this equals. tomatoes and corn <laughs> if it equals meat then it equals steak and hot dogs if it equals poultry obviously it's going to equal chicken so anyway this is how you have it and each one of these codes the first one in the in the um, quotations is going to match the ones up here, and the second one is what you want the value to be changed to. So these are what the value is, face value, and these are the face values at the top, and then these are what 
the true value, I guess you could call it, is going to really be called. So, anyway, when we select one, we select candy, Snickers is going to pop up in the box. We type, we select fruit, apples and bananas, we select vegetables, tomato and corn, we select meat, steak and hot dogs, we select poultry, chicken. Anyway, I hope this has been very helpful for you. Um, it was for me. I really conquered an issue on my application that I was making. So, I hope this helped you. Anyway, comment, rate, subscribe, and thanks for watching.